Hi everybody, this is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Just wanted to show you um, an almost completed Pulse motor, a jumper. Um, there's a couple of things that I still need to do, and that is to add a, um, a zip tie around here so that this whole coil assembly system doesn't move up and down. I don't want to glue it in place because I want to be able to adjust those coils if I need to. Um, I have enough room in these coils. What I did is I, I wound them, um, so that there's, uh, it, it'll withstand the vibrations better for one, and then two, so that I can raise this whole thing up and down a little bit, um, without causing any problems. That way I have a little bit more slack in my line. Um, and as you can see, I have the diodes attached. Here, I did this one on the opposite side just to show that it doesn't matter which bar they're on. Um, and then, basically, there's a magnetic rod inside of here, the rod that has multiple magnets, the five magnets inside of it, spaced out with spacers. Uh, everything I explained in a previous video, but the driver coil will send I'll send a will send a pulse of electricity to that shoot that up there's this switch right here that um after the rod goes up and back down once it hits its bottom position that trigger right this trigger right here is released Let's see if we can get a better angle of that um and and it sends a uh another pulse there to that driver coil and launches this rod back up to the coils and the, as the coils as they do that the um, coils will pick up electricity and bring it over here into this bridge rectifier this is just a bridge rectifier that I made I just soldered diodes together um, see if I can do an overhead shot But it goes from those that into the bridge rectifier, changes it to DC current, and then it goes from there up into this capacitor bank. From the capacitor bank, it goes over here to these rods, and these rods are connected down to this driver coil right here. Um, so all of the the pickup coils are, are are soldered to and connected to these two rods right here. This one and this one. And then the driver coil is connected to these two rods over here. And I figured I might as well just use my uh, mounting bracket rods as the a uh, my power the, the way to to get my electricity from one place to the next. Since they're there, I know that they're more resistive and and electricity doesn't flow quite as well through them, but it's okay. Um, what I'll do next also is be building another platform on here. I'll actually remove this whole thing, put some um, more nuts underneath here so that I can tighten it down completely. That way it doesn't move at all. Um, and then I want to set another, make another one of these assemblies right there and not with the capacitor but just the piece of wood or laminate and put it here on the top that way I can set a battery on the top there um, and then connect a switch to the system so that I could either run it off of a battery or run it off of this capacitor that way um, you guys can see it functioning because um, I'm pretty sure that that capacitor is not going to be able to, char to do enough to to make that whole rod go up like it should so once I get all that taken care of, I'll show you everything in action. I've tried it already with using a 9 volt battery connected to it, and it it won't uh, it does it's not strong enough to move that rod. So I may need to make a larger driver coil and use a little bit more current, so or higher voltage. But that capacitor is rated at 315 volts. 680 so
Um, but that's it. Sorry I wasn't able to get this finished all the way. I've been staying up till like 2 in the morning. Um, last few nights to try and get it done as, as, done as complete as I can. So pretty tired right now. I only got a couple hours of sleep last night working on this because I had to get up and go to work early in the morning. And, uh, same with this morning. I had to go to work and then after the work I had to go do some things and once I got done with that came home and started working on this. So, Alright. You guys take care. Um, thanks for the opportunity uh, to do this Pulse Motor Build Off. Appreciate everyone that's been involved in it. Um, there's a lot of Great Pulse motors out there that people have built. Some awesome, amazing designs. Uh, far better than this one. And give kudos to you guys for all your efforts in that. And to all the judges and, and everybody that's helped with this. So this is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Peace out.